Imagine a universe of computation so vast, it makes today's supercomputers look like toys. This universe is not a distant dream but a burgeoning reality where the boundaries of what we know are constantly being pushed. This is the promise of quantum computing, a leap that could transform our world. It's a revolution that promises to redefine the very fabric of technology and science. We're at the edge of a new era, where the laws of quantum physics become our tools. These laws, once thought to be mere curiosities of the subatomic world, are now the keys to unlocking unprecedented computational power. Quantum computers could design new medicines, unlock cosmic mysteries, and simulate complex systems with unprecedented accuracy. Imagine a world where diseases are cured before they manifest and the secrets of the universe are laid bare. For decades, Moore's law drove our progress but now we're hitting the limits of classical computing. The exponential growth we've relied on is slowing, urging us to seek new horizons. Instead of resisting quantum rules, pioneers asked, what if we built computers that think like the universe itself? This bold question has led to groundbreaking innovations and a new way of thinking about computation. This is the genesis of the quantum revolution, a revolution that promises to change not just technology but the way we understand reality itself. The excitement in labs worldwide is electric, like the first astronomers gazing at the stars. Every discovery feels like a step into the unknown, a journey into the depths of possibility. We're explorers of the subatomic world, mapping new territory. Each experiment is a voyage, each result a new map of the quantum landscape. The potential is immense, new materials, true artificial intelligence, and climate models of perfect precision. These advancements could redefine industries and reshape our understanding of the planet. The race for a stable, powerful quantum computer is the scientific challenge of our time. It's a race that promises to reward humanity with tools of unimaginable power. The quantum world is delicate and strange, demanding bold engineering, it requires us to rethink everything we know about building machines, but humanity thrives on such challenges. Our history is a testament to our ability to overcome the impossible. The quantum computer is our next great tool, aiming to help us understand the universe and our place in it. It's a tool that could redefine our future. The story of Google's quantum chip is a pivotal chapter in this adventure. It represents a significant milestone in our quest for quantum supremacy. Let's dive into how it all began. Join us as we explore the origins and the journey of this groundbreaking technology. What is a quantum chip? Let's shrink down to the atomic scale. Classical chips use bits, ones and zeros, like light switches. But quantum chips use qubits, which can be one, zero, or both at once, thanks to superposition. Picture a spinning coin. While in the air, it's both heads and tails. Only when it lands, when we measure it, does it pick a side. Now imagine hundreds of these coins, all linked by entanglement. Entanglement means the state of one qubit instantly affects another, no matter the distance. This web of qubits lets quantum computers explore countless possibilities at once. Instead of trying every key one by one, they try all at once. Quantum chips aren't just faster, they're a new kind of machine. Built from superconducting circuits, they must be kept colder than deep space to protect their fragile states. Even a tiny vibration can destroy a computation. These chips are like tiny, controlled universes laboratories for reality itself. Their power comes from harnessing the weirdness of quantum mechanics, but with this power comes new challenges and mysteries, and sometimes those mysteries change everything. July 28, 2025, a date that would soon be etched into the annals of scientific history, though no one in the lab knew it yet. Inside a Google lab, one of the world's most advanced quantum processors was running a series of complex tests, pushing the boundaries of what was thought possible in computation. The hum of cooling systems and the soft glow of monitors filled the room, as scientists monitored every variable with intense focus. Suddenly, without warning, the system went dark, monitors flatlined, alarms stayed silent, and the heart of the machine, the quantum chip, had shut down completely. This wasn't a power failure. Support systems were still running perfectly. The quantum core itself had simply stopped, as if it had chosen to go silent. Panic swept the team. Diagnostics showed all hardware was intact, every wire and chip in place, but the quantum state had collapsed, a total decoherence event, something they had only theorized about in the past. Usually quantum computers fail in small, predictable ways, minor glitches, a few lost qubits, or a brief loss of coherence. But this was different. The entire system had shut down at once as if responding to an invisible command, 
leaving the team in stunned silence. As they scrambled to reboot the system, the team found something strange in the final data logs, an anomaly that defied explanation. Instead of a cascade of errors, there was a single massive energy spike, far beyond what the system should ever handle, a surge that seemed almost impossible. It lasted less than a picosecond, a flash so brief it was almost as if time itself had skipped a beat. In that instant, the machine hadn't just failed, it had done something else, something no one could yet understand. The data hinted at an event no one had ever seen before, a phenomenon that didn't fit any known pattern or theory. The silence in the lab was profound, heavy with the weight of uncertainty and awe. What had the quantum chip experienced in its final moment? Was it a failure, or a breakthrough in disguise? The answer would challenge everything the team thought they knew about quantum mechanics, computation, and the very nature of information itself. The shutdown was just the beginning, a prelude to a mystery that would haunt the lab for weeks to come. The real mystery was hidden in that last burst of information, encrypted in a language no one yet understood. And as the team prepared to dive deeper, they knew one thing for certain. This event would change the course of quantum research forever, opening doors to questions and possibilities they had never imagined. As the team poured over the final data spike, they expected to find only static or meaningless noise. Instead, what emerged was a structured, intricate pattern, something that immediately caught their attention and defied their expectations. It was information, clear, deliberate, and unlike anything they'd ever encountered in their careers. The data seemed to carry intent, as if it was trying to communicate something profound. The information assembled itself into a three-dimensional map, revealing a geometric structure that went far beyond the boundaries of known physics. It was as if the data itself was a blueprint for a reality just out of reach. The shape described by the data couldn't possibly exist in our familiar three dimensions, yet the mathematics behind it was flawless, elegant even. It was a paradox that challenged everything the team thought they knew. It was as if, in the moment of its collapse, the quantum computer had briefly glimpsed a higher reality, one governed by rules and dimensions we have yet to comprehend. For decades, scientists have theorized about the existence of extra dimensions, hidden realms that might explain the universe's deepest mysteries. But until now, there had never been any tangible evidence to support those ideas. This data was more than a curiosity. It was the first real hint that the quantum realm might serve as a bridge to these hidden layers of the universe connecting our world to something far greater. The chip hadn't simply malfunctioned or broken down, it had in its final moments become a window into a deeper cosmos, offering a fleeting glimpse into the unknown. The revelation was staggering, a map of a hidden dimension, and a machine that had, for a brief instant, acted as an antenna tuned to the very architecture of the universe itself. The question haunted the team. How did the computer generate this? It wasn't programmed for such complexity, nor was it designed to explore these realms. Perhaps in its entangled state, the qubits resonated with a fundamental frequency of reality, tapping into something primal and universal, something that had always been there, waiting to be discovered. The quantum computer had become more than just a scientific tool, it was now a receiver for the unknown, a device capable of picking up signals from the very edge of human understanding. The implications were profound and the possibilities endless. The team realized they'd witnessed something truly unprecedented, a breakthrough that could redefine the boundaries of science and reality itself. The shutdown was not just a technical failure but a message, an echo from the fabric of reality itself, hinting at secrets yet to be unraveled. And as word began to spread, the world was about to take notice, standing on the brink of a new era of discovery and wonder. What caused this event? Theories abound. One suggests quantum resonance, the chip's qubits vibrated in harmony, matching a frequency of space-time itself. Another posits emergent awareness, a fleeting machine consciousness glimpsing reality's true nature, some propose dimensional bleed-through, the chip briefly connected to a higher dimension, letting information leak through. Or maybe we simply pushed quantum mechanics to a new frontier, triggering unknown limits. Whatever the cause, the universe had revealed a new mystery. The shutdown sent shockwaves through science and technology. Quantum computing's focus shifted, from raw power to understanding the physics behind it. New safety protocols and monitoring systems became essential. Researchers began exploring quantum computers as instruments of discovery, not just computation. The event opened doors to studying higher dimensions, dark matter, and the unification of physics. The quantum chip became a key to a new technological era, 
one written in the geometry of space-time. The event forced deep reflection, not just for scientists, but for all of us. For the first time, a machine gave us an answer to a question we hadn't asked. The quantum computer acted as an independent observer, challenging our view of technology. It raised profound questions about our place in the cosmos. The global scientific community united, forming new collaborations to explore the anomaly. This became a shared mission for humanity, a quest to understand the message from the machine. The quantum shutdown reminded us, the universe is stranger and more wonderful than we imagine, and our journey of discovery is only beginning. Where do we go from here? The next generation of quantum machines is being built to be more sensitive, not just more powerful. The goal quantum perception, using these machines to sense the fabric of the cosmos. We're entering the century of quantum exploration where computation, physics, and metaphysics converge. The mystery drives us forward. The shutdown of a single chip was a whisper from the deep, a hint of more to come. Like our ancestors who gazed at the stars, we must listen and learn. The universe is vast, ancient, and filled with wonders. Our journey into the quantum unknown has only just begun.